Hi, Louis from Specify here. Today we'll see how to pull design tokens and assets from your Specify repository and transform them so they can be used as SCSS variables. So, as you can see here, I have a local project where I have an output folder and this is what we will generate in this tutorial. So in this output folder, we have assets containing our font files that have been uh, converted and also have vectors that have been um, pulled from specify and optimized thanks to SVGo. And I also have some styles, so colors, fonts, uh, font files imports, and text styles uh, as SAS mixins that have been automatically generated. So let's get rid of everything and let's generate all of this thanks to specify by using the specify CLI. So as you can see here, I have in this repository several types of design data. I have colors, I have text styles, I have uh, other types of assets um, like uh, bitmaps or even vectors extra. So what I want to do is to tell specify that I want to get from this specify repository called all design data, those, these um, design data. First of all, I need to install the CLI. So let's head over to our local directory and install the specify CLI. The specify CLI can be installed globally or locally. So here in my case, I want to install it globally on my computer. So yarn global add slash CLI. And now that the CLI is installed, I am able to configure specify so that I can tell specify several things like specify. I want you to get me colors and transform them in a file name like this. And I want you to convert colors in from uh, the, the native um, format you are returning design data, which is JSON. I want you to transform my colors from JSON to uh, SAS variables. I want you to do the same for, um, I want you to get my text styles and generate make sense. Basically, I can configure specify. So instead of writing all of this configuration manually, I can do this thanks to, I can use templates. And to use templates, you can use the specify command and more importantly, the specify init command. So thanks to the specify init command, I can create a configuration. So either I can start from scratch, which I don't want to do here. However, I can use a template and here the template I'm going to use is called CSS, SCSS variables. And I want this configuration to be in JSON. Okay, perfect. So this configuration is almost done, but as this message is saying, is that I need to update the repository property because now, uh, basically, in your configuration, you have to tell specify from which repository you want to pull your design data from. And in my case, my repository is called all design data and it's in the Acme Inc. organization. So let's update this and And I also have to update the personal access token. So the personal access token is basically a key I need to give specify so that specify knows that I have the correct access rights to call specify and get design data in return. So I can generate my personal access token directly from my user settings. And let's revoke the last one and let's create a new personal access token. I will name CLI. So let's copy it and Let's paste it here. So now I have a working configuration and this configuration will help me pull design data from my specific repository and generate everything in my project here. However, I need to be sure that my repository is up to date because my repository is containing design data. However, for instance, those colors, those colors are coming from a Figma file called Octa Primitives, and uh, they are coming from a Figma library. And I want to be sure that all colors in my specified repository are up to date 
compared to what's inside my Figma library. So I have to synchronize the specify registry. I can do it directly from the application here. However, here I'm using the CLI, so I want to do it programmatically. So if you run the command specify, you will have uh, a glimpse of all the comments available for you. And the one I'm going to use right now is the comment sync to synchronize a specify registry. So let's do specify sync. Okay, perfect. And now I now have to pull design data from my specify registry and I'm going to use the command pool. So let's run specify pool. Okay, perfect. So now specify have now specify has pulled everything from from my specify registry, and as you can see, I have a new output folder with my font files that have been converted with my SVG files, and I also have my colors, my font files imports, and my text styles generated as Sasmixin. Thanks for watching.